Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Does traditional tattoos last longer than this new era of tattoos? Is there a way I can cover up this tattoo? Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. 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 You're falling into a trendy trap. It is almost as trendy as the tribals. Question: Fact or myth? Color fades faster than black and gray. Why? Why? Why do people do this? Why do you just like? Well, anyway. I was. I was. Yeah. <laughs> First. Intro. This is the tab chat with Electric Linda. <laughs> Hey, 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 <laughs> you are too kind people. Thank you. Hello, Triple D, Dopalicious, Michael, Stacy, Christina, Pucha. Hi there. I was waiting for this all day long. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Hello, Francina. I'm super, super fine. Thank you. So, um, hello, Lizzie. Hello. Esther. Nice to see you all here. So I'm thinking this is going to be the season finale again. Uh, I need a little break for, you know, holidays is coming up. Uh, so and we're moving uh, into our, our very first own apartment. So we're just starting to pack everything down and everything. So it's nice to, to have a little break to be able to pack down, pack up, you know, um, enjoy Christmas and everything. And I do have a lot of things going on as well, but we'll talk more about that later. Um, today only, um, I'm going to, it's going to pop up and pop up in the chat sometimes, I think. Um, I'm going to do some giveaways uh, because I've really wanted to do these, the whole season in in episodes but it was more like okay i'll just go ahead and and do all of them now in a way so um number one is you can win merch so if you go to my red bubble it's going to pop up in the chat like a link so you can go to my red bubble and log in there as a red bubble account and then you can just uh like any of my products there you know by just clicking the little heart next to it and in 24 hours I'm gonna walk through all of the hearts there and see who liked what and I'm gonna pick uh, three winners that actually just gets uh, something that they hearted you know what I mean so that's number one and I thought today only Everyone who super chats uh, $3 or more or donates $2 or more or joins as a member uh, during this live hour, uh, you'll get a signed print. Uh, you know that, uh, let's see here, I'm going to show you this one. This print, um, I have it ready, so I'm just going to sign it and send it off to those who do that and um let's take that away again and the last thing is um you can also if you don't want to donate or super chat or uh join as a member you don't have the opportunity or you just don't want to that's totally fine then you can just like this video and comment the video not the live chat but comment the live no comment the video Comment a thing that we have in common. And I will also uh, just, I can pick, what is it? I'm going to pick three winners of those comments that also gets a signed print. Okay? So, a lot of things going on in the giveaway thing. 
So, uh, so stream elements is, is running, so we'll see how that goes. Hello, Darcy. Linda, I started my tattoo apprenticeship last Monday. Congratulations. Awesome. Yay. Yay. Actually, yay. Woohoo. Awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Great. I love it when you go the, 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 you know, the right direction and the right way. <laughs> Sorry. So that was the introduction. No, uh, let me introduce myself to those who don't know who I am. I'm Electric Linda, been a tattoo artist for 20 years, and now I'm hooked on doing live streams. It's so much fun. I love this. Any one of you who, who wants to try to just do this, just jump in and do it. It's so much fun. It's actually more fun than you would think. So, uh, thank you all for those nice comments here. Um, let's see here. Uh, what color do you prefer in tattoo ink? Um, that's something I usually talk more about on my Ink Mentor uh, site because the Tat Chat is more for just people who love tattoos. So, as soon as we talk tattoo equipment, supplies, techniques, uh, it's on the Ink Mentor. So go to the inkmentor.com, inkmentor.com. And uh, about the Ink Mentor, I'm just going to mention that right away. Uh, I just have been focusing more on the Ink Mentor thing lately. And I've decided, well, tomorrow morning in like 12 hours, I'm going to have my first ever webinar. I've had many seminars and workshops workshops over the years, but um, Esther, Esther is a member. Welcome. Thank you so much. Esther gets a signed print. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yes, Ink Mentor. I've been focusing on that and tomorrow I'm going to have my first ever live webinar. So I'm, I'm a little bit freaked out about it, but I think it's going to turn out really well. I've had, uh, I'm going to do a color portrait. And for those of you who are tattoo artists or apprentices and you just want to, you know, watch me, not just watch me tattoo a portrait, but uh, to be able to sort of listen to all the steps because I'm going to talk through it like a walkthrough in a way. And you can ask me questions during the live uh, webinar. And that's on the inkmentor.com as well. A little ad here just before we uh, start. Uh, and you can actually, you can get like a 20% discount if you use YouTube 20. In, in if you purchase anything from Ink Mentor. So let's let's get into this, uh, shall we? And not I'm not gonna give you any more ads or information or whatever. Uh, thank you, Catherine, for loving my channel. I, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Is the red bubble link coming up or have I missed it? I think it should come up. Uh, didn't Streamlabs tell us anything yet? I'm just going to check. Uh, that's so weird that it didn't show up yet. Because I didn't... Uh, if not, I can just... Uh, it's it's in the description in the video too. Sorry. Uh, all, all of those uh, information that I, I gave you uh, is in the description. On the video so if you see on in the top line on the description of this video there is the red bubble link so you can just click that bu red bubble link and um, just like whatever you like so sorry about why isn't my links showing up stream elements is lazy but we'll see what happens so let's do a consultation because we have to fit in, you know, a lot of things here as well. So uh, let's see here. Procreate. And then we have pet chat. Consultations. Da, da, da. This is just an 
easy one that um kira jade welcome you are now a member awesome thank you you will get a signed print kira jade amazing and welcome and thank you so much um i can't get sound like the notification things that's weird huh I think I will have to listen to my own own stream. Yes, okay. <laughs> I don't know why the no alerts here. It should maybe stream elements is like taking a break. I have to check it. Uh, it should be working. So weird. Module, sorry, just a little. It has chat alerts, so it should be working. Timers, it should be working. In one way or another, it's not connected. So, sorry for that. Uh, it's going to take me way too much time to, <laughs> to figure out what's wrong. So, we'll just ditch that for now. Uh, okay. <laughs> Consultation. So here is Endre. I believe it's um it's a Norwegian name because um yeah, it looks like it. So and he wants a Catwoman portrait from Batman Returns. I absolutely love Catwoman from Batman Returns. So uh, it, when you do a portrait, you just, you know, you find the the best sort of photo, the photo you like, which has a high resolution that it's, you know, like a big file. So it's easy to, to tattoo it. And, you know, when I say a good resolution and a good way to test that is to zoom in on the eye and if you can see that there are eyelashes then it's a good quality of the photo you know those small details when you zoom in and and not that if you zoom in and you just see the pixels go big you know so that's very important so I just found some different photos here You're not hearing an echo, are you? Because because uh, I'm hearing myself, but I don't think you're hearing the echo. <laughs> so, hello, Michael. Greetings from New York City. Hello from California. Uh, good evening from the UK. Awesome. Awesome to have you here, guys. Uh, here is stream elements is in the house awesome good then i don't have to repeat myself all the time awesome so uh what i want to do here is i need to check then i need to make it like transparent right flip and we could put I'm just going to test now because one important thing is because this is going to be a cover up. It's a lot of black here. So all the black areas are safe, but the non black areas are not safe. So this would be difficult to put in here. You would have to sort of, you know, look at that eye and, and the, where do you put that, you know, to, to make it safe. So this particular photo, with a lot of that skin of her skin tones is not very good the other ones are you know they're practically all the same but like this one maybe you see that this could maybe i'm just thinking here Yeah, I think that if you put it like there in a way, mm 
Yeah, you would have to put it there. maybe smaller so that we can fit in the her ears and everything but as long as the eyes are in that sort of safe area I don't think it's gonna be that bad to have her tongue in that area these the black lines that he has they're really black you know so um, it's going to be a quite see-through if we keep her skin like very, uh, very light and smooth. So what we would need to do is I'm just going to make this a little see-through and maybe even use darken maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, like that, because then we're going to see where that snake is going to show. So those areas, you can see that it still shows around her nose and the mouth. So those areas, we have to sort of uh, make her, we have to cheat a little bit. Let's see her ear, airbrush, not earbrush. And then just we have to make this area a little bit darker. Maybe even make her first. We can make her, yeah, we can play around with the darkness in her. You see, the darker we make her, you know, that snake disappears. But we don't want it to be all that dark over there. So. We just need to make her a little bit darker and then more saturation. It's always good. And then I would say that this, you know, it, it will look like she has a lot of lines in her face, but I think, uh, oh my God, hello. And thank you, artistic artist. Welcome and thank you. You will get a signed print artistic artist awesome um yes and <gasps> okay uh, 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 uh. so yes what i was going to say now is uh this could just be done over several sessions those areas that the the snake would shine through a little bit those sessions can just do several sessions because there are, those are small areas that can be done over time and just with patience and it's yes it's going to take more hours with the tattooers and so it's going to be a little bit more expensive but the, it can be done but it takes so eventually um Eventually, it will sort of make her more normal, but, you know, it will look like this, and then more and more ink you put in there, it will, it will cover. But you would have to sort of take a lot of details and a lot of more time, so it is possible. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, just to show you that... It can be done, but it will take more time. Uh, so, <coughs> I'll do some questions. A lot of questions here. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Are you familiar with Nordic Viking style hand poke tattooing? I'm sort of familiar with it uh, in the terms, well, just because I know um, some tattoo artists and I've met them on conventions and stuff and I'm seeing them work and, but that's it, you know, uh, I've never tried, uh, those techniques and I don't have one of those tattoos myself. Uh, but it looks really like 
cozy and traditional and it has a vibe uh, so it's it's nice uh, question any advice for first time session I think um, first time sessions just listen to your artist and they if they you know if they have any sort of ideas of what they want you to bring or when you should show up you know those are the most important things so information from your tattoo artist is is number one just in case i say something different from what they say you should listen to what they say you know uh my uh, advice is more like additional advice okay because uh, a lot of the times people are asking me, oh, my tattoo artist said that I should uh, dry heal. What do you think about that? My tattoo artist said that I needed to use Sanoderm. What do you think? And I would be like, you know what? Listen to your tattoo artist because there might be a reason why they t tell you to do a certain thing or uh, a certain kind of aftercare. So I always listen to artists because tattoos are different, artists are different, your skins are all different. So there might be a reason for that. Any other first time uh, advice is actually to just show up to the appointment in time, not too early now these days uh, and not too late, of course. Show up clean, uh, sober and well fed. Uh, and pro uh, preferably that you had a good night's sleep. And that's it, really. And wear comfortable clothing. Clothing that you can sort of adjust uh, or move. If you're going to get tattooed on the upper arm, you shouldn't be having, you know, wearing a tight, long sleeve shirt. Hello, Jenny Parsons. Thank you for joining. I have to write your names there so I don't forget it. But thank you. You will get a signed, signed print. Amazing. Thank you. And Darcy just tipped. I don't see those. Thank you, Darcy. Awesome. Thank you, guys. This is so much fun. And, yeah, thank you. This is a great support for the Tat Chat. It makes it, you know... Uh, more possible to do more fun stuff with it. So thank you for that. Um, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm, question. I got my very first tattoo four days ago and it just started peeling today. It looks perfectly fine and healthy. Uh, and I go by what my tattoo artist recommended me. Awesome. I can't see a question there. So but good for you. Awesome. Do that. Just listen to your tattoo artist and, you know, just do what they say and take my advice as a bonus advice in addition to what they say. Any plans for the big plans for the holiday, Michael? Um, moving in. Well, first planning, packing, moving in. Uh, we're moving in in like two weeks, so I have a lot of packing to do before that. So then we're moving in. I'm going to set up all my, you know, my, my, I have an entire room, which is also going to be the guest room, yes, but mainly it's going to be my, the Tat Chat studio. <laughs> so that's going to be awesome. And then we're just going to chill in the holidays and, you know, spend time together, I don't know, watch Christmas and like holiday like movies. Um, I watched Home Alone yesterday. <laughs> so uh, we're starting early here. Um, so yeah, uh, but no big plans. Uh, we have to, you know, there are restrictions, so we don't know if we can spend, a, you know, Christmas Eve with uh, my brother's family or not because they are they are a very big family so we'll see maybe we will just FaceTime them I don't know it's a weird holiday season this year but please just endure and it will probably be better really soon I hope 
But anyway, uh, question, how bad is a knee tattoo? Getting one soon. I don't know because I, I don't, I can't dare to, to get one. I, I, I think it's horrible. But I'm very sensitive, so. But I, it is one of the worst places, what I've heard. But I mean, if if you can do a knee tattoo, then you're like, good, you know, you can do any tattoo. So. <laughs> uh, so what? Uh, what was I thinking? Yes, uh, another consultation. I thought yes, if that's okay. Uh, so this is Eve. And she says, my mom wants a tattoo covered with something that isn't too big, but has to do with flowers or nature or the country Iceland. I love Iceland. I've been there myself uh, a couple of times, I think. Yeah. Um, so... I thought when you said flowers or nature or Iceland, I there are not many flowers on Iceland, but and not many trees. <laughs> um, but there, the nature is very beautiful, and you can find. I just, you know, I'm gonna show you. Hmm, let's see, Pinterest. Yes, you see, I search for Iceland. I mean, look at these. The photos are amazing. You can see that they're not much flowers and not many trees. But I just I just loved this photo because it ha you know a lot of things are happening in that photo. So I just copy that photo in here. And I'm going to try to show you what I would do. It would actually be the same thing as with the cat woman, which is just to like darken the color first so that you can see. Let's see here. Her, her, uh, this photo of her is pretty dark. So I'm just going to lighten that one a little bit. It has a back lighting, uh, but we will manage. So, and then I would just try to place, let's see here, place this landscape. Um, but you can see that on the top there is not gonna uh, cover that much because it has, you know, it's a sky. You could, of course, oh, this could be even better. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, we'll put, because I do love the bottom there as well. So we're going to sort of make this into a, a full upper arm, you know, like a half sleeve thing. So I'm going to lower this a little bit. And just to show you that if I do this normal and then go a little transparent. And then I'm going to, let's see here, I'll delete, sorry, I'm not answering uh, chat when I'm in a consultation, but you know that. So let's see here, uh, automatic, and I'm just gonna try to remove the whole background thing. Okay, and then cut and then do my little you know remove these weird little edges here okay so now we don't have a sky anymore but we can fix that right so this is daytime but it would be cool if we do like Iceland sky look at that because you have these northern lights in Iceland as well. And in Norway, yes. So, what we could do, just to find one that is pretty cool, um, we could search with that one maybe. Yeah, 
I'll just use that one just to like work fast here today. Insert photo. There we go. Bigger. Go big or go home. And there we put that one in the back there. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, okay, there. And then just to like, uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, copy. Paste. You know, me and my beautiful way of speaking sometimes, I stumble in my own words. But you are so good at understanding what I'm trying to say. Or so now I'm just making a hole in that layer to expose the tattoo. Okay, good enough. And up. okay. Then we have, what's going on here? Why is this, yeah. That looks pretty nice, right? We can just darken that one a little bit because uh, it's sort of like, not nighttime, but more like the afternoon in a way. And it's going to, I, I think it's, it's gonna be nice that it's not like super, super saturated, so. I don't think it's nice with all this massive light green, but maybe darker, a little bit mysterious. Iceland is not very colorful in the nature, so I think it's cool to sort of just, you know, embrace that in a way. Move this a little bit there, maybe smaller, maybe this way, but we don't want the church to shine in there. And that one can be a little bit more colorful and yeah, like this. That's a quick little idea of what would be possible because when you're doing landscapes uh, as a cover-up, it has the three elements that you need in a cover-up. I don't know if you remember those, but they are, you need to go bigger than what um, the tattoo was. You need to go bigger. You need to go darker. So uh, you need a lot of black, but you also need other colors. Uh, and then you need to go details. If you do a lot of details in the photo, like with uh, a landscape like this, then those details are gonna, you know, have your eye looking at those details and like, oh my God, that's what's going on, you know? And if something should shine through from the old tattoo, then you wouldn't even notice it because you're noticing these beautiful details, you know what I mean? So bigger, darker, and more details. That is the perfect um what is that called when you're like yeah uh, 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 yeah when you're sort of making uh, whatever <laughs> sometimes i really don't know what words to use so ah uh, what time is it okay we're like a little past halfway a little sip here And cheers. This is uh, my soda stream soda. So, but cheers anyway for the season finale. Um, <laughs> do you think your boyfriend will get on one knee and pop the question? If he doesn't, I will. That's so nice of you, Michael. But I do have faith. I do. Otherwise, I don't think I would be here. In a way. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Question. I live in California. What's the best way to get a tattoo designed by you? 
Well, the best way is actually to when all of this thing going on is over and you can travel again, uh, you book an appointment with me and we can have a video consultation. I, I can design the tattoo for you and you, you know, book sessions with me and you can come in and do like a three days in a row kind of thing if you want. Uh, other than that, I mean, some people would like to maybe get my opinion or design their tattoo and they have someone else tattooing it. That is not a good idea. Um, first of all, 99% of tattoo artists that are, you know, professional and uh, they have a lot of clients and, you know, I would say that they're, they're any, if they're any good in a way, they wouldn't sort of tattoo another tattoo artist's design. Uh, it's a, like an integrity thing. Uh, I think, uh, I think, I don't know. I, I would never, but I'm a photorealist artist so I, I copy all the time but I copy from photos and then I make my own art of it when I'm tattooing but other artists that do their you know that draw something um, I think it's it's so uh, the most tattoo artists will think that it's a little awkward to sort of tattoo another tattoo artist design it's it's weird I don't know but the best way is to get the tattoo artist that you want and have them make your design no matter what you can always have a reference you know a sketch you can make your own sketch or drawing but most artists will always prefer to make their own designs where is my studio it is in oslo norway question will you be getting more tattoos yes i really want more tattoos uh, so we'll just see what happens. <laughs> when do you know my tattoo is healed? That is a good question. Um, Pucha. When to know when your tattoo is healed? Um, when your tattoo is healing, it goes through, sorry, it goes through, uh, several like phases in a way. So the first sort of phase is when it's super like an open wound. It is, you know, plasma coming out of this open wound. And you have to protect that, protect the tattoo in that time because that plasma, you know, it, um, it dries up and, and becomes a crust. You don't want that. So the second phase is that when sort of that it's not plasma anymore. It's more like dry. It's drying up faster. It's starting to itch and you will just have to continue moisturizing. And then I would say the sort of last phase, the third phase in that healing is when the tattoo is not uh, scabby or dry anymore. It's kind of normal, but it looks shiny. It has, when you see your tattoo in light, uh, you will see that the skin itself, the texture of the skin is shiny. That is the last phase. And when it stops being shiny, it's the, the skin is back to being matte or whatever you call it and normal, then that is, then it's healed. Okay. So let's see here. I don't know what, what, yeah, okay. Emma, you're, you're helping me here. I don't know what happened, but no, oh, okay. I can see that there. Thank you, Emma. Uh, you can just block him if you, if you want. Mm. Let's see here. So should we do some quick critiques? We do have time for that. Some quickies.
So I got a bunch of new uh, uploads on the Tat Chat, on the, on the submission forms. So awesome that you... Um, I use the Procreate on an iPad. It's like, you know, an easier, more modern form of Photoshop. So really, really good software. So let's do some critiques, shall we? I'm so slow on my buttons because I have to sort of like open them up and blah, blah, blah. And then I have to push a button and oh, so sorry for me. Now, what happened to my images? Why are they so small? Ugh. Okay, I'll just skip. What happened? No. These are no good. I can't look at that. Oh, there's one. <laughs> we'll critique this one. Okay. The, the image itself, it's a little bit too bright, you know, so it's a little glare in the middle there, but I, I can see, you know, the tattoo. I think the linings look very good. Um, the, it looks like it's colored well that, you know, they haven't failed in any coloring or anything. Uh, I think the details on the teeth, they look pretty good. I don't know because it's, as I, I you know, the, the photo is not crisp enough in uh, terms of high definition. But it looks pretty good. I think it's cool that this is sort of a style that you don't see that much. Um, and yeah, it's something different. So, awesome, cool. Keep getting tattoos that are not mainstream. This one, I haven't seen this one. I, I just put all of these photos in the folder and then I failed, of course, but this is cool. It's a green tiger and like this uh, armor thing. Um, it makes me want to sort of play video games right now. But yeah, um, I would say first, the first thing I think about is the placement. I really think um, you should have used the canvas more. And what is the canvas? Well, it's your whole calf. So I would, I would do this bigger. Uh, it could be that you're sort of planning a background and everything so that you need that space for that background. So maybe it's not finished, but if this was a finished tattoo, I would say it needs background. It could have been bigger. And I think those details, I don't know if it's, uh, the linings are, are good, but I think they could be even more, um, diverse. What I mean is when you switch up the line work and have some linings, uh, a little bolder and then you have some other lines thinner you know what I mean it makes a diversity and sort of a depth in in the line work that makes when you can make a tattoo and the line work itself is beautiful and you really didn't need coloring then the lining is good you know so I, I would, I think I would focus a little bit more on the line work and, but the coloring is okay. I just, I don't know if it's meant to be gray in that shield or if it's supposed to be black, but it turned gray in a way. So that could be like, it looks a little bit faded and the placement, uh, I told you that I, I wish it would were bigger, but I wish also that it was a little bit more placed on, on the inside of the calf, you know, or on the front or on the outside. This has, it's sort of, it's a little bit too much in the front to be on the inside of the calf. You know what I mean? So I like it when, when you define the placement 
in a way and not go like, oh, we're going to go a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. Then you have to go a lot to the right. Or, you know, when you tilt a little bit, then it looks crooked. If you tilt it a lot, then you know that it, it was to, supposed to be tilted. You know what I mean? So yeah, that could be a little more interesting. This dog here is sweet, cute. Um, it's very sweet, actually. It makes me want to get a dog again. <laughs> but I would say also that same thing with a lining. I'm, it's one, one liner needle through the whole thing. And I just think if this artist would have used two types of linings, it would be a little bit more that oomph. The lining would be more of a main character. And when you have that foundation, it all just like fits and just becomes more beautiful. So yeah, I wish, I wish the linings were a little bit more oomphy. But then again, this is, you know, this neo-traditional style in a way. Um, it could be, I don't know. It's cute and it's sweet, but then it stops. It's like, it's not like, oh my God, this is a beautiful tattoo because it, sort of lacks something. It could have been a ring around it or like more like since the flowers down there are sort of framing a little piece, then that could have, you know, you could have kept the frame going up and then stop, you know, um, behind the dog's head, something like that, just to make more like an ornamental frame on it that that would have been you know even better but yeah it's a cute tattoo a cute dog this one is super funny I love these colors uh, they're clean and crisp and I feel like uh, the tattoo artist knows how to color and in what um, In what order? In what order? It's very important that you tattoo the right colors in the right order um, because otherwise you can sort of smudge ink, make them dirty by adding another complementary color uh, next to it. And so they can sort of turn each other brown and gray and, and sort of look very dirty. So the yellow here is very impressive. Um, it's difficult to get a good and crisp yellow like this. And I really love that teal color. I, I just love teal in general. And otherwise, I think it's a cute drawing. The artwork itself is cute, funny. The one thing here, again, I would prefer a bolder line work on the main shape lines, you know, the main outlines of the important shapes. And that's it really. Otherwise, this is super cute. Do we have more? Yes, this one. It's a duck. Um, I think this is sweet. You know me. I prefer colors. C curlers. Curlers. No, not curlers, but colors. Um, I am a color addict in a way. So I think it's, it has red in the eye, but it's more like that sort of invites to more colors. That makes me want to ask the question like, why not colors? This could have been so pretty in colors with that brown thing in the, in the plants, you know, the green leaves, you can have a clear blue sky, uh, you know, the browns and the greens and the duck or purple or whatever, or you can just, you know, do whatever colors you want. But I think th this could be very nice. It could be like a fall sort of color vibes with the brown and the green 
orange or you can go like really summerish pastel colors or you know put pink in there or whatever or teal so you i don't know i just wish this was in color other than that the linings are good uh the shadings are good um the drawing is i would say good but it could have been a little better i think it's just me you know i'm a realism sort of tattoo artist so uh it's i i i like it when you define a piece of art and if it's supposed to be neo traditional then go all the way neo traditional you know not like almost neo traditional um that's just my opinion and remember these are always just my opinion i am not every tattoo artist out there and that was that one the same one again so yeah and yeah well i'm gonna not gonna do these because we can't we can't see these when we zoom in so we can do more critiques next time right <coughs> there will be more of the tat chat um I promise. I really, really love doing this. It's so much fun. Uh, the only thing I might change is the time, the timing. Maybe not Sunday nights anymore. Maybe switch it up. But we'll see what happens. And it's not going to happen until next year anyway, I think. So uh, we do have time for a few questions. Uh, can you recommend getting tattoo? ideas inspiration somewhere else than on Pinterest and Instagram <sighs> yes there's one more place which is maybe the most important place ever okay are you ready <laughs> it's your head your memories your experience your passion your love your hate, your feelings, your emotions, your state of mind, your hobbies, your job, your musical taste, your power animal. You know what I mean? And, and then you don't need anything more. You can just use some of those words that are popping up in your head and give that to the tattoo artist and they will make something awesome. It could happen. Dopalicious Art. Thank you. You are a member. Thank you for that. And I will ship you a signed print. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Dopalicious. Yeah, I'm not going to write the full name. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. So, yeah, I, th I think I answered that question question there uh pucha um what do you think about leg tattoos lower leg what is the best way to preserve them over the years you know what uh me cart uh, i love legs i mean or calves really so i think they are some of the best places or placements on the human body to tattoo from from all of the places on a body the outside especially of a calf is amazing to tattoo and i always prefer that it's like a golden spot and you also have a golden spot on the arms which is the inside of the lower arm here perfect but I think this is often a more sensitive skin it differs uh, a little bit more from client to client but uh, calves are usually sort of the same easy skin on any kind of human being so it's it's usually a very safe area to tattoo so that's pretty cool so I love I love legs or calves um, starting with legs because they're easiest to hide. Yeah, but it's more like, I mean, that's the shame, you know, if, if you start and, and do some 
like trashy tattoos there and then you you know you are wasting some perfect canvas for some really amazing tattoos but I, I know what you mean um, thank you Dopalicious I appreciate all you all of you uh, as well thank you I really do so uh, 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 let's see here question is hand poke tattoo as permanent as machine tattoo uh, yes it's basically you know as, as soon as you get ink beneath you know in the middle of you the middle layer of your skin uh if it's done by a machine or if it's hand poked it's the same thing it's it's ink in there and the body will take it uh usually most of the time so yeah it's it's as permanent of course the only thing is if if I mean someone is like yeah I'm gonna have this needle and I'm gonna you know pet, poke myself with some ink usually they don't have the experience or the knowledge and how this works so they could just be poking themselves and like oh it doesn't work I, I you know <laughs> so that will not be as permanent of course because they might not actually be hitting that uh that uh, level of the skin you know what I mean so that could m maybe not be as permanent uh, uh, Spencer you're very late <laughs> uh, we're four minutes away from uh, from the end here question will you be doing any conventions after things go back to normal I really hope so I really want to so but you know uh, life happens uh, focusing on the tattoo studio getting that to work and then you know three kids uh, trying to make them happy boyfriend trying to make him happy and now it's the ink mentor and it's the tat chat and it's you know I have so many passion for things going on and to travel on top of that I don't know if I would have the time in you know 2021 but I will I really want to travel again Nikki I can't wait for your seminar awesome uh, did you did you uh, register for it if anyone else wants to register this is for tattoo artists and apprentices for those who are in the game and knows sort of how to tattoo but this is not how to tattoo a video or a webinar tomorrow morning it's in 12 hours from now so go to inkmentor.com uh, if you want to buy something there you can use the YouTube 20 like a coupon code and you will get 20% off so uh, I think that was it for today I'm, I'm so uh, so thankful for all of you uh, did I write everyone down yes I did it was Esther and Kira an autistic artist Darcy Jenny and Dopalicious amazing thank you so much I will ship you a a signed print ASAP okay and for those of you who want to get the chance to win some merch go to the red bubble it's in the link in the description go there uh, heart some of those things that you would like to get and I will um, have you know uh, three of you will get one of those things that you hearted you know what I mean and yeah you can also if you didn't um, or if you're uh, watching this um, sort of what is it when you're not watching it live but you're watching the rerun replay uh, if you're watching this within 24 hours after live you can also win uh, signed prints just by liking the video and commenting the video with something you think you and I have in common okay and three of those comments will 
get a signed print. Okay. Um, thank you for 20 hours together, 20 episodes of the Tat Chat, 20 hours. It's uh, pretty weird, but it's been so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And the Tat Chat will be back next year. And uh, thank you so much for being here, spending time with me, asking me awesome, amazing questions. And I really appreciate that. So I hope I will be seeing you um, next year. <laughs> You'll miss the tat chat. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Yes. So yeah, I'll be seeing you. And you know, you can find me a lot of places in the meantime. You know that. So amazing. Thank you for everything and for for now. And I'll see you in the next season. Okay. Bye bye. This is the Tat Chat with Electric Linda.